Hello again. So um, this is another video on how to plan a flight using a series of different tools to do it, just a series of different calculators. In this one, we're going to be using a uh, Pulley's CR1, CRP1, which is the British equivalent of a uh, an E6B um, analog computer, which is used in North America. So um, if you haven't seen this, the beginning of this series, the intro, I would suggest at this point that you do that. That's where I set up the flight and, and actually start filling in the uh, flight plan block. If not, well, let's just get right into it. So, and as in the other uh, videos, what we're looking for is to calculate um, given given weather, given winds, calculate what our true heading would be, what our magnetic heading would be, uh, what our ground spoof speed is going to be, and time on the route, and the amount of fuel. And then go back after that to cal calculate calibrated airspeed. And then once we've got the time on route and we have the, um, the amount of fuel, then we can calculate our um, how much fuel we'll have left or, or what our endurance is. So let's start. To start with these um, these items up here, we, we're going to use this side here, which is made at first approach may not be very, very obvious. If you have the North American version, the E6B, most of them have actually have some notes up at the top here that actually that tell you how to use it. And in this case, it isn't, but it's pretty easy to do. So first thing we're going to set up under the index we're going to set our winds. So 330 is the winds. And then we're going to adjust the slider here just so that the dot in the dot in the blue circle is right on one of the easy to use lines. And I'm going to mark nine knots, which is our wind speed up from that, just in here. So between 110 and 120, there are five marks. So not, Nine is halfway between the last and the and, and, and two zero. Now the next step is to turn this to our desired course, so two zero zero, and then I'm going to move my dot so it's actually on my uh, true airspeed. So one hundred five. I'll just uh, show you exactly what I've done here. So I've moved it on to one hundred five. And um, so really what this tells me now is that if this is my uh, true airspeed, then my uh, ground speed is going to be 110, maybe a little bit more than 110, like maybe 111. Uh, so we'll use 111 ground speed. And this is three and a half, maybe a little bit more, the closer to four degrees, one, two, three, four towards uh, towards the higher numbers, so towards by turning to the right. So that's four degrees. So I add four degrees to my true heading. So that is uh, 204. Variation, if you remember, was 14. So 204 plus 14 is 218. So that's my magnetic heading. Uh, compass heading we'll find out when we're in the airplane. And then now I need to find out what my time on route is going to be and my fuel. So for that, we turn to the other side. So a quick uh, guide for those of you who might not know how these work is there are there is a, a slider in here. You can see this inside scale and the outside scale is fixed. The inside scale is in minutes or hours. And the outside scale is either going to be well, kilometers or uh, knots or liters, quantities basically of items. So in our case here, what we want is we want our to put in our ground speed underneath 60. So that is telling us that we're going to be doing 111 knots in um, 60 minutes per hour. So it's 110 knots. And I need to do 75 uh, miles. So what am I going to do? I'm going to look for 75. Ah, here it is. And under 75, I have 40 and a half. So we're going to round that up to 41, 41 minutes. And the next thing I want to calculate is the fuel. So 
Uh, now I'm going to move my inside scale to the amount of fuel that I burn in an hour. So 6.3. So this six, one, two, three, and that's in 60 minutes. But I'm really only doing 41 minutes, so I can look up 41. So turn everything around here. Okay, 41, and that works out to 30, no, 3, 1, 2, 3, uh, 3.4. So 3.4 gallons. Um, is that tr true? Three, one, two. Hold on a second here. Forty-one minutes. Forty-one minutes, and that's actually four. Yes, right. Four point three, not three point four. Sorry, I'm being dyslexic or something here. 4.3. That makes more sense. Okay, good. So we can go back actually here to calculate the calibrated airspeed. Now this is a little bit more tr trickier. Um, we have to use this little fancy little scale in here. So remember, our pressure altitude was 4420. And so we're going to look at pressure altitude here. So... Um, Five here, zero, so 44 would be between, halfway between four and five. Our temperature, on the other hand, is 12, positive, negative on this side, which is, con you don't really expect that, but, so 10, my, plus 10, 12 would be very close. So if I move that so that I am about 4.5 at about close to 1.1, then what I'm going to do is, um, it says here somewhere, but if I look up my true airspeed, true airspeed is on that scale, and my indicated airspeed is going to be on this. So 9 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7. So 97. So, um, so those are the calculations that we need to do. Now, for the rest of the calculations here, I can do this. So fuel would be 5.5, uh, 51 minutes total. And we can do this. So fuel on board, let's say we have 40 gallons. That's maximum capacity. Start takeoff and taxi 1 point, whoops, 1.1. 1 .1. Uh, climb and cruise 5.5, 5, 1.1 for landing. So that works out to a subtotal of 7.7. .7. 10% contingency, 0 0.8, 10% of that. 30 minutes reserve, so 6.3 divided by 2 is 3.2. Uh, 3 Be conservative. So that's 10, 17, uh, so 7, uh, carry 1, and that's 11, 11.7. 11 so 40, all clear, 40 minus uh, 11.7 is 28.3 is my fuel remaining. And then divide that by 6.3 and gives me 4.5 hours. So, so we've done all of the calculations we needed to do for this line. We will use, reuse these numbers on the flight side later on, but essentially we've done the series of calculation using what seems to be pretty basic uh, calculator, but uh, it'll be interesting to see how it compares in time to uh, the time it takes to do it with an electronic calculator. So thank you for watching, and uh, we hope to look at the other videos. Thank you.